I wish to discuss with you today the way that the laws of the cosmos have changed and what it means to us here on Earth as we live. In August of 2006, a dramatic pole reversal occurred within the cosmos. Up until that time, we had the following. With light and frequency, we had sameness attracting. If somebody was a light being and we sent them love, we sent them light, they gladly received it because they were that. Now, with matter and energy, up until August of 2006, opposites attracted. That created tremendously painful conditions for humanity. Light beings were pulled at times into homes in which there was great darkness because they were, in fact, of opposite matter and energy. Opposite matter and energy attracted people to us that were false when our hearts were true, people that cheated us when we were honest, the opposites. And so life was an absolute battlefield for us, of bodies strewn around us, of those that have come and gone out of our lives. Painful experiences because the opposite matter and energy attracted one another. Now, as of August 2006, the following is the case. Opposite matter and energy no longer attract. We will no longer attract people that are unworthy into our life. From this point on, if we stay clear within ourselves, my brothers and sisters, true to our own energy, we will be attracting like people of similar matter and similar energy energy. Now, light and frequency has changed as well, because now they can be sent to places where there isn't love, to places where there isn't light. And now they will, in fact, do some good. People often ask me and say, but then why don't light workers repel one another? because they would be of the same light, not of opposites. And if light now is attracted to its opposite, won't that be repelling a fellow light worker, even though the material and the energetic factors are attracted? Well, Mother thought of that. And she made it a law within the reality of existence that heart energies override all else. If someone is of opposite energy, you will be repelled and you will feel it in your body and it will override it and you will be attracted to those of like heart energies. Even though your light and your frequency is similar as well and under normal circumstances would be pushing each other away, the heart energies will override it. This means that partners that were suitable before, partners we may have been looking for, for eons of existence, because we remember how attracted we were to them, might no longer be the suitable partner. It might be that those who are of opposite, opposite light might in fact be the ones that recognize that your matter and energy is different. You may get fired from jobs. Co-workers that might have been there for a long time may no longer feel right to you. Do not override this. It is not being uncharitable. It is so that the natural selection can take place to bring about the most profound mission of all life. Growth through support. Beloved family of light, up until August of 2006, growth came the hard way. It came through pain. It came through opposition. And the lightest of light found themselves so clustered about by the dark ones attracted to their opposite matter and energy that it was like a light bulb encircled by moths until the light no longer shone. Those days are over. It's time for us to unfold our wings, to arise, to have the courage to love again, to have the courage to trust again. Because the people pulled into our life Unless there's body signals that creates a tightness, a nausea, 
that warns us they're the right ones.